Hello all and welcome to this Thursday night non-alcoholic beer review which I'm going to dub the bad insomnia beer review. So I had really bad insomnia last night. I didn't actually fall asleep until after the sun rose. So it's about two hours of sleep. Mostly me just lying in bed tossing and turning. Um, but yeah, so not an alcoholic beverage but I'm going to be reviewing this and um, I'm kind of forcing myself to stay up awake because I've learned I've suffered from insomnia ever since like I've been 11 or 12 years old so I know that trying to go to bed early just sort of makes it worse and trying to keep a routine sleep pattern is probably the best way to go and deal with it so I'm just kind of chugging through for the next three hours or so um, Yeah, there's a whole bunch of other things too, but what are we reviewing? Uh, I've never had this before, and uh, this bottle was given to me by my dad. Um, recently, he's been getting into non-alcoholic beer for health reasons of his own. So yeah, he passed this one on to me. This is Buckler from Holland. It is uh, made by the same company. It's made by the Heineken company. And... It's actually kind of interesting because there is now Heineken 0.0, .0 which is Heineken's, um, you know, it's a non-alcoholic version of Heineken. It was actually a pretty good non-alcoholic beer, I found, in that um, unless you compare it side by side, it is remarkably evocative of how Heineken is supposed to taste. Now, if whether or not you like the taste of Heineken is another question entirely, you know, uh, I do not like skunk bottle tastes. When I have it from a can, it's always better, but, you know, here in Hawaii, it's renowned for the green bottle, so the taste of skunked beer is very popular in Hawaii. It's the most popular beer flavor here in Hawaii. This, however, comes in a brown bottle. Um, it looks kind of light brown, so I'm not sure if it actually, you know, blocks as much as the light as it should, but yeah, this is still fairly fresh. It says Best Buy, June 2024, so it's been brewed fairly recently. And um, as a non-alcoholic beer, I believe it's probably following Euro Pale Lager styles um, as a guide. And like I said, this predates the Heineken 0.0, .0 so it's probably produced using um, older technology, as it were. So, without much further ado, let's just get straight into this, shall we? With my potato camera. Look at that potato, all nice and blurry. That's okay. We're going to use this to go and show you the pouring process. Yeah, that's right. You want to be blurry? Well, you can go and be nice up and blurry as I pour this. Okay, where's the head? Where's the head, Pete? Where's the head? Okay, well. Well, there's carbonation there. You can see it. You know, so nicely carbonated. Golden yellow, fizzy head, not very apparent. Oh boy, got that sweet sorghum. Kind of skunky hops, honestly. Um, and I mean skunky in, in terms of dank, but there's also like a skunkiness to the actual beer itself. Kind of a cooked smell. Cooked warty smell. Okay. All in all, the nose is not too promising. On to the palate now. Yeah. Not the worst non-alcoholic beer I've had. <laughs> Damning with faint praise, I suppose. First off, carbonation is very minimal on this. Um, I was hoping, you know, having a lot more crisp carbonation bite up front um, would definitely improve this beer. I mean, there's carbonation visible, but with the head with a head form, it seemed like it was kind of undercarbonated. carbonated 
upfront that sort of strong taste of cooked vegetables, overcooked vegetables, wartiness. There's kind of a sorghum flavor, sorghum slash corny sweetness in the mids. An unpleasant skunk note in the top note throughout. The malt sweetness is probably the most pleasant part of this. And the hot bitterness that's um, fairly mild throughout from the front into about the mids kind of disappears in the finish. Doesn't quite clear the palate. There's still some of that malty wartiness there lingering. All in all, kind of a letdown. Um, really, the two biggest for me are the fact that it is somewhat undercarbonated. And the top note is just unpleasant. It's kind of a mixture of weak hops and um, bottle skunk. Yeah, this definitely does not look dark enough. You can see the light going right through it. That said, not unpleasant enough that I'm going to drain pour it. Right, I will finish this as I am making my dinner. Um, and yeah, so Buckler Non-Alcoholic from Holland, made by same folks that make Heineken. Go with the Heineken Non-Alcoholic. It's a better non-alcoholic beer. It's not the best non-alcoholic beer, but it's probably one that you can find in a regular grocery and liquor store. Um, I think that's probably, I, I would say it's probably the best non-alcoholic that is, you know, that you can get from like a, um, you know, regular supermarket or liquor store. Um, so yeah, I, I would go for that and over this. And that folks is your non-alcoholic, non-alcoholic beer review for tonight. I'm going to be doing a review tomorrow, hopefully no insomnia. Yes, I. there's still a chance I can still have insomnia. I mean, I once went three days straight sleeping, maybe just dozing. Um, that was not very good. I don't want that. <laughs> but yeah, here's hoping I have a deep, restful sleep tonight. Cheers.